Hi guys, welcome to our second episode of the Armor of God. So today we are doing the breastplate of righteousness. Hi guys, welcome to the Armor of God lab. Dishwashing liquid represents the Armor of God. The bowl represents the world and the black paper will represent sin. So now we're going Okay, so without the armor of God, when you go to the world, yeah. uh, without the armor of God, you see, you'll have sins. But with the armor of God, Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. So let's head over to Douglas that will tell us more about the breastplate of righteousness. Bye -bye. Do what's right with all your might. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and yeah, today I wanted to talk to you guys about the armor of God, and specifically I want to talk to you about the breastplate of righteousness, the body armor of righteousness. Now for a soldier, a breastplate is super, super important, because most, most of your vital organs are protected by body armor, protected by the breastplate. You got your heart in there, and your lungs, and, and your stomach, and all that good stuff, and so a soldier in battle needs to protect their vital organs. So the breastplate of righteousness is a really, really important part of the armor of God. Now remember that we're not talking about actual real armor. You know, this, this is made of cardboard. A soldier back in the day might have had iron or steel or, or even bronze, but the armor of God is spiritual armor. So when we say the breastplate of righteousness, we mean that your righteousness can protect you like body armor. And righteousness is doing what is right. Now as Christians, we're all in a battle, a spiritual battle, a battle against Satan and the spiritual forces of evil. And when you do what's right, you're protecting yourself against Satan's schemes, against the bad stuff that Satan has planned for you. You know, all sin comes with consequences, and there are eternal consequences and earthly consequences. And it's important to note that our righteousness cannot save us from the eternal consequences of sin. If you do what's right, that's not going to save you. And the eternal consequences of our sin is eternal death apart from God. And it's only through the blood and the sacrifice and the righteousness of Jesus Christ that we can be saved from the eternal consequences of our sins. And we'll talk about that later because it, it talks about the helmet of salvation and that comes only through Jesus Christ. No amount of good works, no amount of your own righteousness can save you from the eternal consequences of your sin. But there are plenty of earthly consequences of sin also. And that's what our breastplate of righteousness protects us from. Satan knows that if we've been saved from our sins, that he cannot separate us from Jesus' love. But Satan can still mess with us here on earth. You know how I talked about earthly consequences of sin? Well, a consequence is something that happens because of something else. So, for example, if you're making cardboard armor and you're not being very careful, you can get a cardboard cut, which is like a paper cut, but a million times worse. That's a consequence of not being careful. And all sin has consequences, earthly consequences, here and now. Our sin can hurt us, and our sin can hurt those around us. And that's what Satan wants. Satan wants to hurt us however he can. So like drugs is a good example, because if you do drugs, you can be forgiven of the eternal consequences of that. God will forgive you if you ask for forgiveness. But it's still going to mess up your body, right? If you do drugs, you're still going to have to deal with the earthly consequences of doing drugs. They damage your body, they, they make it so you don't think straight, so you might do something really bad. And you might even get arrested and go to jail. But it's not just doing drugs. All sin, every single sin, has earthly consequences. If you gossip about somebody, you could really hurt their reputation, or you could really hurt their feelings, and you could hurt your relationship with them. If you steal, you're hurting the person that you stole from, and you could get in really big trouble. Every single sin has earthly consequences. And that's why Satan wants us to sin so badly, because he wants to hurt us. You know, God doesn't just make rules because he's trying to, trying to be bossy. 
The rules that God makes, he makes because he loves us and he knows what's best for us. And God knows that, that if we follow the rules and we do what's right, that our righteousness will act like body armor and it'll protect us from Satan's schemes and from the negative earthly consequences of sin. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would put on the breastplate of righteousness, that you would follow the rules, that you would do what God has called you to do so that you can stand and fight against Satan in the spiritual battle that we're all in. Doing what's right can't save you from the eternal consequences of sin, but it can sure protect you from the earthly consequences of sin so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. And out into the day we go. In Jesus' name, all God's soldiers said, Amen! Okay, soldiers, let's march! Oh, who's got their armor on? We've got our armor on! Oh, peace by peace, we'll put it on! Peace by peace, we'll put it on! Oh, who's got their armor on? about the breastplate of righteousness so the breastplate the breastplate of righteousness is like my vest so every time i wear my vest i will think of the ble- the breastplate of righteousness i hope you enjoyed this video see you next time bye guys thank you